The commercial trucking market is relatively small and is ripe for disruption. In this video, I'm going to discuss how and why the Tesla semi truck will be a major market disruptor and make a positive impact on the environment as well. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. So here at the beginning, I want to do a little bit of a comparison between the cost of a regular semi, both operational and purchase cost, as well as the Tesla semi truck. So first of all, the purchase cost. So I did a little bit of research and found this 2020 Kenworth T680. And you see there that this particular one is priced at around $157,000, has 450 horsepower with a Cummins X15 diesel engine. If you go to Tesla's website right now, you see that they're going to have a 300 mile base semi at somewhere around $150,000 or for $180,000, you can get the 500 mile range version. Or if you buy early, you can get the founder's edition for $200,000. So although the Tesla Semi is a little more expensive on the purchase end, the very low cost of operation is where you really reap the benefits. So first of all, let's look at the operational costs of a traditional Semi. So the first category of operational expense that I want to cover is the fuel and energy costs to run these trucks. But first of all, to get these numbers, we need to lay a little bit of groundwork. So here is the important information for a traditional semi truck and gas cost and fuel efficiency. According to the Advanced Technology Institute, the average small business semi truck driver can cover over 125,000 miles per year. Also, the average semi truck engine is designed to go approximately 1 million miles. The average semi truck gets around 6.5 miles per gallon and the current national average price for diesel here in the United States here at the end of January 2020 is right around $3.04 per gallon. Obviously the Tesla Semi runs on electricity and so in order to figure out the efficiency and the cost we have to go back to Tesla's presentation when they released the Semi and this quote is currently on Tesla's website quote, electric energy costs are half those of diesel. With fewer systems to maintain, the Tesla Semi provides 200000 plus in fuel savings and a two-year payback period. So during the semi-truck unveiling, the comparisons that were made were using a $2.50 per gallon cost of diesel fuel. And so when they say the electric energy costs are half those of diesel, I'm assuming that we need to use that $2.50 price to work backwards. So as we found out a minute ago from the Advanced Technology Institute, the average truck driver can go around 125,000 miles per year. And if we assume the average fuel economy of 6.5 miles per gallon, and then we half that, we see that the Tesla Semi should cost somewhere around $24,038 of energy cost to go 125,000 miles. If you divide the $24,038 energy cost by the $0.07 cents per kilowatt hour that Tesla has guaranteed through their mega charger network, you get a usage of 343,400 kilowatt hours to go the 125,000 miles. And then to get the efficiency, we simply divide the 343,400 by 125,000 miles traveled, and a loaded Tesla Semi should be somewhere around 2.75 kilowatt hours used per mile. So now let's look at this cost comparison, starting with the traditional Semi truck. As we mentioned, the average USA diesel cost per gallon right now is $3.04. If you drive 125,000 miles and you average 6.5 miles per gallon, you will consume 19,230 gallons of diesel fuel. And that gives you an annual fuel cost of right around $58,459.20. That same comparison for the Tesla semi truck using the Tesla Mega Charger network, which has guaranteed rates of seven cents per kilowatt hour. If you go 125,000 miles, assuming the 2.75 kilowatt hours per mile that we figured out in the last calculation, then you will have consumed 343,750 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. And then to figure out the annual energy cost needed to go 125,000 miles, you simply multiply the 343,750 by the seven cents per kilowatt hour cost, and you get a total of $24,062 spent for energy to go 125,000 miles in the Tesla semi-truck. 
this is $34,397 cheaper than a traditional semi-truck. So that's quite a large savings, and this is just one of the factors, fuel, not even counting maintenance savings as well. So if you take a look at the total operational cost, including maintenance, the cost of leasing the truck, etc., I pulled this information from Tesla's presentation when they revealed the Tesla Semi, and you'll see there from this graph, the average diesel truck will cost somewhere around $1.51 per mile, whereas the Tesla Semi cost about 25 cents less per mile at $1.26 per mile. If you multiply that 25 cents times around a million mile life of the Tesla Semi, you'll save $250,000 in the lifetime of that truck. These numbers, of course, are not even assuming the increase in diesel prices that is happening right now. Obviously, when Tesla presented the Tesla Semi to the world in 2017, the prices of diesel have gone up since then to now, as I mentioned, over $3 per gallon. And so the difference there is only going to get greater as the diesel price goes up. So based on these numbers, it's going to be a major disruptor because of cost. Anytime that you can bring a new product to the market that performs as good or better at a much lower cost, that product is going to do well. And once again, the Tesla semi-truck costs way less in operational cost, and so I predict it will be a major disruptor in the industry. So I think it's also important that we discuss some of the other features of the Tesla semi-truck as compared to a traditional semi. So if you look at the acceleration and performance of the Tesla semi, you'll see there that it goes zero to 60 miles per hour unloaded in about five seconds or if you have it fully loaded with around 80,000 pounds it can go 0 to 60 in about 20 seconds. A traditional semi with no load takes around 15 seconds to go the same 0 to 60 miles per hour and a loaded semi is much slower than that. One of the important performance aspects that Elon mentioned in the presentation is that a traditional semi truck can really only go around 45 miles an hour at a 5% steep grade, whereas a Tesla semi-truck has enough power to go 65 miles an hour, allowing a truck driver to make more money because they're traveling more distance and most of them get paid per mile. I think one of the most important factors of the new Tesla Semi is the safety, and Elon Musk mentioned that every Semi will have enhanced autopilot as a standard feature, allowing the Semi to have lane keep assist and to have emergency braking, etc., to avoid accidents. The Tesla Semi will also have four individual motors, which allow for torque vectoring. This will allow, as Elon mentioned, it to avoid jackknifing and for winter weather issues, it will give it a lot better traction and keep the vehicle from sliding off the road. The Tesla semi truck also includes Tesla's armor glass, which not only protects the occupant from objects coming through the windshield, but it also allows the windshield to last quite a bit longer without cracking. Another feature that's really important for the semi truck is that since it has the battery mass down low, like the rest of Tesla's cars, it has a very low center of gravity, which allows it to have a much less chance of rollover. If you look at the interior of the Tesla Semi, it has integrated technology with dual screens and it allows you not to have a need for third party clutter. You don't have to have all these separate devices, but yet everything can be run through the two built in screens and Tesla is going to have adaptive software to meet the needs of truckers. Also, just for comfort and ease of driving, the driver is in the center of the cockpit, has two redundant screens. They don't have to shift the vehicle because of the single gear, and so it's going to be a very comfortable cockpit and a very easy-to-drive truck. Then, of course, the cost comparison, as we mentioned. The upfront cost is slightly more expensive on the Tesla Semi end, but it has much lower operational cost, and the regenerative braking for the Tesla Semi will allow the brakes to last possibly even the lifetime of the truck. And Tesla has guaranteed wholesale energy cost through their mega charger network with guaranteed rates. Lastly, I want to close this video with the environmental impact of the Tesla Semi versus a traditional Semi. So I mentioned some of this data in a past video that I did talking about climate change and how Tesla is making a difference. And the EPA has set up a standard on how much CO2 is released per mile through a semi truck. And so through these calculations, you'll see that a simple 1,000 mile trip with 20 tons of cargo could produce somewhere around 3.24 metric tons of CO2 for this one single move. 
a typical passenger vehicle emits somewhere around 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. So you can see there that one trip with a diesel burning semi has the potential to release almost as much CO2 into the atmosphere as a full year with a passenger vehicle. So here's why the new Tesla semi truck has the potential to make a big difference and have a big environmental positive impact. Commercial diesel trucks drive about 10 times the distance compared to passenger vehicles, around 125,000 miles per year. The fuel efficiency is about four times less than the traditional passenger vehicle. Therefore, they have almost a 40 times combined increase in CO2 emissions with a semi. In CO2 savings and environmental impact, removing one diesel semi from the road and replacing it with a Tesla semi is about the same as replacing 40 gas burning cars with electric cars. So in conclusion, the Tesla semi is safer, easier to drive, more comfortable, more convenient, has a lower operational cost and a much lower environmental impact. I really do think that the Tesla Semi is going to disrupt the commercial trucking industry, which is a relatively small market with around 250,000 semis sold in the U.S. in 2018, and it's going to make a good positive impact on the environment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something and that you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so more people can find the video. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, and if you do subscribe, click the bell icon so you can be notified when new videos are published. Thank you so much.